Hello, and you're watching another episode of Waffle TV. Uh, my name is Jimmy, and I'm here with Ben Duke, who has brought his show. We'll wait two seconds for that. Karen's like your baby. There you go. <laughs> He's brought his show, uh, Paradise Lost, um, Lies Unopened Beside Me. Is that yeah. right? Um, can you tell us a little bit uh, sort of about what that title means then, kind of beyond the original uh, Paradise Lost that we know? Yeah, so it's a solo show that was that is based on Paradise Lost. Mm -hmm. But I wanted it to be clear that I wasn't doing a kind of um, faithful. Uh, I wanted to be clear I wasn't doing a faithful kind of adaptation of that. So it was this idea that it's inspired by that show, but actually, it's about wrestling with that uh, huge work of literature and the idea that I'm kind of, you know, every day I would go into the studio with that book and be kind of um, oppressed by its mm. brilliance and kind of how you deal with that. So the idea of it just sitting there and influencing me, but basically being unopened for a lot of the time. Oh, yeah. well, of course. So you're kind of looking at these themes of almost the, the kind of creative process yeah, then exactly. and creative struggle almost that you can come exactly. from there. Yeah, 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 exactly. Obviously it's a piece about, you know, the creation of the universe and yeah. Adam and Eve and uh, that seems relevant somehow to the struggle of the creative process obviously the scales are different but it's yeah, still you uh -huh. know it's that idea of comparing basically comparing myself to god I think yeah is well that's what, absolutely I, is what fair. I like yeah. to do yeah well yeah. if we're looking at like that i guess his rehearsal process was what seven days and yeah, then he, he did a lot in seven show, days so. exactly he got <laughs> through a lot of stuff yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, i wasn't quite as productive as that yeah that's right we're, we're, oh. all, we're all guilty of that yeah. um, and yeah. in terms of kind of the process how long have you been working on the show um that's hard to say. I mean, I've been thinking about it for a long time. Yeah. I suppose probably about two years ago was the first um, seed of the idea. Mm -hmm. In terms of rehearsal, I should probably spend about three months maybe okay. in the studio yeah. kind of doing stuff. But, you know, obviously as a solo piece, it means the, the hours in the studio, um, I'm not going to say they're unproductive, but uh -huh. there's definitely a lot of staring at the wall yeah, and, and kind of getting yeah, all up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's been a lot of that time. Um, but yeah. Excellent. And now you're based at the place um, in London, is that right? Kind of. The place supports uh, support me and they support right, this okay. project. Excellent. I'm actually based near Brighton, kind of on the south coast. Okay. Um, and the place have... Uh, supported Lost Dogs work from the beginning and uh, uh, all of our pieces have been presented there mm. at the theatre and they've yeah kind of supported this trip up here to the festival yeah, so um, and organized some hall and the slot yeah. here with the other two place shows Brilliant. and yeah. how are you finding your friends so far is it's this your first time like I've that? been here before yeah. yeah yeah I've been here before in different roles and in different shows mm -hmm. um, this is the first time I've been up here performing in a solo show, and okay. the first time I've been up here for the whole kind of month, yeah. basically. Uh -huh. So, uh, but it's great, you know. I kind of I find the fringe such a mixture of things. I find it very inspiring, and yeah. I come away kind of fed by it. And yeah. I also find it a bit overwhelming, and uh, you know. So it's trying to deal with that, and I think I, I guess now I'm going to see a bit more stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, the first few days have definitely been just trying to sort out the show yeah. and uh, yeah, deal with your own stuff. Yeah. So. And yeah. how have audiences and things been so far? They're good, yeah. yeah. Getting getting bigger. Yeah, so excellent. yeah, that's, that's a good what sign. For. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. And what about Summer Hall? How are you finding that? Because I know, obviously, here they really put a spin on acts like yourselves, yeah. where it's, it's much more kind of thought through and, and process. And yeah, yeah. So it's really good. Yeah. I, I mean, it's a great venue. And, and when I was up here before, I saw so many great things here. So it's really exciting to be here mm -hmm. performing. Uh, the venue's good, the space is great. Um, but yeah, I think you're right. I, I kind of like being part of that place where you feel like there's a slightly different... Uh, I don't quite know how to identify that without being kind of dismissive of other stuff, but which is maybe somehow... Exactly. You know, um, I guess it's like, obviously, we've got like the circus hub now. Yeah, and exactly. Here is kind of almost that like is the home for kind of dance and physical yeah. theatre. So you really yeah, yeah, yeah. something that's... Yeah. Exactly. High quality. Exactly. You know, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, and yeah. so where can we find your show? Uh, it's on at 2.40. It's in the main hall. Yep. And it's on pretty much every day. I have Mondays off. Okay. Next week I think I have Tuesday off. So, But pretty much every day. Excellent. And um, yeah, it runs for 70 minutes. Fantastic. You must come, come and see it. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, it's been another episode of Waffle TV sponsored by Bilmers.